dear students i welcome all of you in the session of traffic engineering and management so we have, we have been discussing about the module number 8 that is highway capacity now we have to learn one important concept that is called as level of service see as the name suggests level of service indicates the overall category of the road that means overall uh, condition of the road with respect to users perspective now before beginning the session let us start the particular module that is highway capacity so we will be discussing about the level of service that is sometimes also called as service level criteria see what is this level of service first of all that is the question that arises over here so let me tell you level of service is a qualitative measure this is one of the important words it is a qualitative measure and not a quantitative one qualitative measure and that is used to relate the quality of traffic service of the road that on which we are being, we are traveling so basically level of service is a quality of uh, quality measure that is used to relate the quality of the traffic service now it is used to analyze or why it is being used so let me tell you it is used to analyze this is the use it is used to analyze highways by categorizing traffic flow and assigning quality levels of traffic based on performance parameter such as speed density and delay this is one of the important questions that in the categorization of roads with respect to level of service the quality levels are determined based on which performance parameters so the answer will be speed delay and density <coughs> see if we plot the graph of operating speed versus vc ratio that is vol that is volume capacity ratio we will find out this kind of particular graph that is called as level of service graph that ranges from los a to los f this is level of service a this is level of service b this is c this is d this is e and the last one is f now what is the interpretation of level of service a what is the interpretation of level of service b c d that is all we have to learn so you, you can observe that if level of service a is there then higher speed of vehicles is observed if level of service b is there then the speed is comparatively lower than the speed a if c level of service of road is there then it is lower than a and b if d level of service there is there then it is lower than a b and c and in case of e and f you can see that there is a drastic change of the particular speed with respect to the level of service that is being observed so let us learn all this criteria let us learn the classification of level of service see this is the photo of level of service a what you can observe over here is there is a distance between vehicles which are crossing the particular lane see this is the huge difference and distance so basically level of service a is the level where the traffic flows or or above the posted speed there is complete mobility between the lanes is observed the vehicle can move from this lane to this this lane this lane to this lane easily and the average spacing between this vehicles is approximate 27 cars or 550 feet this, that is 160 meters this i have considered from the reference book of lr kadiali now in level of service a the motorist have a higher level of physical psychological comfort see psychological comfort also plays an important role so i have mentioned both physical and psychological comfort and generally this occurs late at night in the urban areas and frequently in the rural areas so what does it mean that if you visit urban area you will not be able to observe observe this kind of scenario during the night day time because there will no much space available between the cars between the mobility of the lanes but you will be able to observe the observe the scenario during the night time and during if you are traveling within the area which is rural area which is the village area so this is called as level of service a now this is level of service b you can see as compared to a the distance between the car is 
reduced fewer distance is available with respect to level of service a so this name of this particular LOSB is called as free flow traffic stream is slightly restricted to LOS a see in LOS a there were the distance of 27 cars now here it is the distance is 16 cars so it has been reduced from 27 to 16 from a to b and the motorists are still having higher level of psychological and physical comfort so it will be easier for the drivers to move along the road section now this is called as level of service c you can see the distance has been reduced from 11 cars so in a it was 27 in b it was 16 in c it is 11 car length so it is called as stable flow or nearer to free flow the lane changes require more driver awareness as it has been mentioned in the particular photo and the minimum vehicle spacing is about 67 meters or 11 car lengths the most experienced drivers will feel comfortable when they are driving on this particular stretch but if any new driver is there then he will face hindrance and obstructions the posted speed is maintained and this is the target level of service for some urban and most rural highways now comes level of service d you can see there is the unstable flow the distance has been reduced from 27 to 16 to 11 to approximate 8 you have to remember this criteria now the word maneuver means to rotate or to change the steering direction so <coughs> it has been written that freedom to maneuver within the traffic stream is much more limited in this particular case the comfort level of the driver also decreases vehicles are spaced about approximate 160 feet or 8 car length is there minor incidents such as busy shopping corridor in the middle of a weekday or functional urban highway during the commuting covers can be observed experiencing this kind of level of service that is level of service d it is a common goal for the urban streets during the peak hour so basically this this can be observed during the urban streets on a usual level so usually the urban roads will have the los of d during the peak hours Attaining LOSC would require prohibitive cost and societal impact in bypass road and lane addition. So, means what does it mean that if you want to increase the LOS from D to C, from this to this, then we have to provide increased cost and we have to provide the additional lanes and bypass roads if you want to enhance the capability to LOSD. Then comes the LOS E. You can see the car distance has been reduced to very low, that is six cars. It is called as unstable flow. It is operating at the particular capacity only. The limit to cross the capacity reduces number of times. The flow becomes very irregular and the speed varies rapidly. Speeds rarely reach at the posted limit. The vehicle spacing is about six car length but speeds are still at or about 50 meter per hour so 80 kmph is the maintained speed on this particular LOS any incident will create serious delay if any smaller hindrance or obstruction is placed between the particular movement of the road so it will create a very huge delay that you might have observed number of times at the Shamal crossroad or Pallad Nagar that if any small particular uh, incident is being caused by any of the vehicles then it can create the delays for number of hours to the vehicles the driver's level of comfort become very poor driver will not feel driving comfortably during this particular road stretch and it is a common standard in the larger larger urban areas such as Ahmedabad and Baroda and Surat and Rajkot where some roadway congestion is inevitable no matter how many measures you are providing it will be very difficult to reduce this kind of inevitable situations so basically this is called as level of service e this is called as unstable flow in this particular stretch the vehicles are operating at the capacity level the free flow becomes irregular the speed varies rapidly the speeds rarely reach at the particular posted limits vehicle spacing is about six cars per length then the speeds are still at or about 50 meter per hour that is approximate 80 kmph any incident 
that is uh, being observed on the particular stretch will create serious delays driver's level of comfort will become poor and this is a common standard in larger urban area where some roadway congestion is inevitable so basically this is all about LOSE now let us discuss about level of service F this is the that is called as the forced flow or worst scenario you can see that how this particular you can observe that how this particular thing is being done that there is no space between the vehicles so it is called as forced or breakdown flow and this kind of particular level of service every vehicle moves in lockstep with the vehicle in front of it the travel time cannot be predicted a road in a constant traffic jam is at this level of service so you might have observed number of times that there are number of stretches in Ahmedabad or any of your cities where there will be continuous congestion being observed so those particular stretch will be experiencing this level of service that is called as F because LOSF is an average or typical service rather than the constant state for example a highway might be at LOSD for certain AM peak hour so number of times it can be observed that during peak hours the particular road stretch can have higher number of congestion so at certain stretches this kind of LOS is observed so what we have learned that level of service A is called as free flow level of service B is called as reasonably free flow level of service C is called as stable operation level of service D is called as borderline or unstable level of service E is called as extremely unstable and level of service F is called as breakdown so this is what we have learned till date I hope you have gone through the concepts thoroughly thank you so much